so candy. Yeah. Run up on me, baby, let it out. This is chopping free. The TV always talking. This shit, she can't even fuck with me. Yeah. Back with the KD show with Davey, my boy. How do you want me to say your name, bro? Because your name is like Brand. beautiful. You know, it's Brand. gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you call me Brandon Mile High Minute. Hell yeah, Mile High Minute. The man, the myth, the legend, you know. Happy to have you, bro. How you doing? Oh, shit. What do you say uh, you. your blog is? Mile High Minute. No, uh. About my, like, slogan? Yeah. Number, slogan. number one blog in the universe. Hell yeah, that sounds dope. Number <laughs> <laughs> one it. motherfucking blog in the universe. And people there, do say that, though. Yeah, there's, no, there's, uh, there's definitely bigger blogs than Mile High Minute, but the point of me saying that is just, like, it's a, it's a manifestation, you know what I'm saying? Like, just having confidence in, in myself and the platform we, we've built, you know, the, the, just manifestation, though, really. Like, the universe is expansive and as big as you, you make it out to be, so that was, like, the whole idea behind that. Fuck yeah, that's dope, bro. We're fucking. I'm excited to have you here. I was. I've been sweating all day. Sweating all day. All day, dude. And my bad. I know I was supposed to come earlier, but. Oh no, that's the business, bro. Business. That's what you gotta do. Just what you gotta do. It. Me and Davey were talking about it. We're like, hey man, he's gotta do what you gotta do. Plus, especially with your like following, you got people watching you. You know, people that want to watch your shit, and. uh we're, we're some of them. We like to watch your shit. I Davey likes to that. watch your shit. He was actually happy. He was like, oh, shit, we actually have a name. Yeah, oh, I was no, it's like, some of your videos and shit. I went through a lot of them, honestly. They're pretty cool. I appreciate I that. I like them. Man. A, lot of, a lot of hard work. Some of the some of the videos I cringe at, but <laughs> it's all part of the process. Yeah. I feel like we cringe at a lot of videos, too, but. That's how it goes. Just got to keep going, though. You can't fucking stop, you know? Right. Like Nip said. Shit, bro. So, I wanted to ask you a couple questions because you're like really influenced in music right now, and you got a lot of people that you know, and you like meeting a lot of rappers here in Denver. Yeah. I wanted to know, like, is there like a lot of street beef between Denver rappers, or is there like, you uh, know, how in Chicago it'd be like yeah. that? You know, is there like a lot of street beef here in Colorado? Man, that's a bold question. Because <laughs> like, I, I respect I, it though. You're uh, trying to get down to the bottom. Because I mean, th that's that's the. I've never. No one's ever asked me that. Um. So, I mean, there is, but. Um, I mean, you don't have to mention names. Nothing right, like right, that. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, just, yeah. just. But if there is, I mean. There is, but that's anywhere. That's any city. Um, any major city, even smaller cities, are gonna have their issues and whatnot. Um, and, and that even comes down to you know. We've all been through school. You, you probably had your little fair share issues with random people at school, whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. But, like, I don't know. My my thing with that is I've never been the platform to um, incite anything or, like, oh, you you got beef with this person. Like, what's the – you know, especially especially if it's, like, real, st like, street stuff going yeah. on. Like, okay, if someone's just dissing someone and it's, like, fun, like a, a sport competitive rap – Okay, we could talk about that because I know there's not going to be any real consequences behind that. But if someone's like actually beefing and there's like real issues and, and, and street, it, you know, just real like people dying and, and bloodshed and stuff like that happening behind it, I try to stay away from it unless it's just like peace. Like, hey, like how could you think there could be more peace in general in the city and stuff like that? Because I, I just feel like some people don't really some platforms that are kind of big in the industry don't really care you know it's everything's about content clicks views I, I feel like there's a lot of big platforms that don't really care everything's about clicks money view money and views which don't get me wrong of course like Mohammed cares about clicks money and views like I'd be lying if I said it didn't but like there's also a line and a, and a moral obligation I feel like I have to the city to like not cross those specific lines you know what I'm saying so, like I said, a lot of platforms don't really care about that. They, they're they willing to kind of incite beefs or, like, they're o openly cool with, like, rappers talking down on another rapper with serious stuff going on. Serious consequences. Yeah. Without, without really caring, and I just, I've never been the type of... Yeah, they think there's no repercussions or nothing after that yet. Yeah. And, like, the way I grew up, like, I'm not trying to see none of that stuff, you know. I was never in the streets like that. Like, I was never in a gang or anything like that, but, like, I just... You don't you don't want to start no issues like over content you know what yeah I'm especially over your stuff and it's like you're just trying to build your 
your platform and trying right. to build them up as well as right. you go up. You're not trying to ruin anybody's game or nothing like that. Right. So. But yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's happening. <laughs> He's like, it's definitely happening for sure. Yeah. But, well, I think there's like a, that's good from you that you try to do that. In my perspective, you know, there's a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of people listening to Denver rappers or right. like not don't know about Denver rappers, right. you know, and you're actually letting yeah, people I like, know. I feel like there's a couple. That now, well, now, like, well, now, yeah, there's the, yeah, there's but, it, there now. but four years ago, five years ago, when I was in high school and stuff like that, I remember like, shit, it was way more like seven years ago. There was like none, you know, there nobody would get interviewed no like one, yeah no one was like really yeah from denver there was nobody like there was rappers don't get me wrong there was always rappers there was always people that were rapping but there was nobody like having interviews of the rappers from denver and shit like that and i remember yeah, I guess when i started cool. watching his because uh, i i didn't even know him i just knew of him because of Ransty's and all of them i knew mm -hmm. that i had seen yeah, he his, was one of the first people I interviewed. yeah so i had seen him on his interview and I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. And, like, he showed you his shoes and shit like that. Like, yeah. when he had just made his shoes and shit like that. So, that's weird, yeah. yeah, so, like, I watched that video, like, a long, long time ago. So, it was like, I you know, I, you did start these Denver rappers up somehow. There's one way or another, you did I, I say it's like impulse an energy that. boost. It's yeah, like you, like, little, impulsed it. Like a like drinking an energy drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like They're definitely doing their thing, and they make the music. And without them, I couldn't have my platform, but... I definitely feel like I'm just trying to help shine more light on them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. No, and you are, bro. Those vid Your videos are dope. I like your videos. I appreciate it. And they're pretty fucking sick, too, honestly. Yeah. Well, I already told you that, but yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Fucking, so, bro, how you how you feeling with Mile High Minute? Where do you think you want to push it towards? Like, uh, right now it's pretty big. You know, right now it's it's good. Right now it's good. You're in a yeah. good spot. Right. You don't want to stay stagnant, though. You want to keep right. going up, right? So how do – what are your plans for it? Like, what do you want to keep doing besides uh, – like, I like – I obviously, your interviews are dope. You're still doing, like, clothing and shit like that. But uh, do you, like, want to open a shop? Do you want to, like, open something like that, you know? That's a good question because recently I've been thinking about that, and I feel like I've – Mile High Minutes had a huge impact on the city as far as doing the interviews and stuff, but it's also been, like, a long process, you know, like, we're still not rich, you know, like, we make some good money off of a business, which is a blessing, don't get me wrong, but, like, still no, rap the want. rappers are, like, they're getting bigger, but they still haven't, like, really gotten to that level where they're <clears throat> nationally you know, yeah, recognized, recognized, going on tour, this, that, and the third. So I'm kind of getting to a point where I'm like, man, you might have to step out of this. Uh, well, just like the state or something. Yeah, <laughs> I, I still like to do that from time and time again, just to get bigger than like that's how you're gonna get big. You can't just stay in Colorado forever, especially in the music yeah. industry. But like, really, just like I want to start doing like probably more reactions and like podcast style like me talking on the mic about like just news in the city hot topics and even around the the whole hip-hop industry as a whole and, and stuff like that because i feel like that's where you can really like exponentially grow a platform i mean if you look at our instagram like you know a lot of our posts are going viral because we're staying on top of news but if you look at our youtube like yeah some videos go viral here and there but like I drop it like a bunch of clips and stuff and some of them don't do as well because like the topics aren't current. They're not like right now this yeah. is what's popping, you know what I'm saying? So like I really kind of want to, you know, after I finish this round of like interviews I'm editing and stuff like that, I really want to probably do more of a um, like a just news type platform where I'm like reacting and talking about like hot topics and stuff just to like that's actually start you know building money and like building a brand that's that's big you know what i'm saying because i love my my local artists and stuff but i'm tired of interviewing a bunch of people and and i believe in them more than they believe in themselves you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, that's that's a big big statement for sure because yeah. like you do get tired of um like you said you want to make yourself better you want to make yourself brand better 
right. but you're interviewing some sometimes you feel like you're interviewing people that don't care about their music as much as you care Facts. about my Facts. high minute right. and uh that's everywhere bro we fucking deal with that all the time you know we're yeah, just we're like because k and d that shit's our baby too you know we fucking <laughs> you know we fucking care about it as much as like that's it's our job basically too you know we like right. we like doing this bro we like talking to interesting people like yourself yeah. and just uh learn you know <laughs> and, learn uh, when you're talking yeah. about like trying to stay on topic with like certain things uh as far as like the news and stuff and how you it could be like really big at one moment and then the next moment it'll just be gone like that because there's like another piece of news you know right right it's, uh, algorithm is it's, just so crazy yeah, bro, so it's weird. just hard to, to just you know, stay, on top, stay on top of everything you know that's going on it's fucking crazy bro oh yeah it's like, like yeah we we like, literally talk about crazy shit on purpose right. and <laughs> you know for example like i'll interview an artist and for example curtis numb i just interviewed him beginning of january we talked about his diss song, which was a fun diss song. There wasn't no, like, real street beat or anything from, like, a year or two ago. And then I posted it two months later. And I'm like, man, like, this clip is barely doing anything because it's, like, this is so old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that's why I want to be able to, like, wake up. Okay, I hear some big news. Boom, let me hurry up and get on the Internet and talk about post it, right it talk about it right now so it'll actually get in the algorithm – and help build the brand rather than let me go interview someone and hopefully two weeks later it does good and, and hopefully they're going viral, you know, because nine times out of ten they're not. You know, every once in a while you'll get someone who's, you know, going viral and it'll run up. Like, that's happened to me a couple times. But, you know, it's just like it, it's a tough process. And you just got to learn, you know what I'm saying? And I, I feel like I'm in a rat race sometimes and I can't keep running in these circles, like, if I really want to grow the brand. Yeah, that's – um it's hard i get i get where you're coming from that's hard especially when you're like like you say you're um do you have anybody working with you right now or like uh that helping you or anything like that or is um, it just you or what i i got my manager who's helping with promo on instagram okay. sometimes um what does that look like like how does he help you with promo so well i've i've had different business partners in the past and like it just didn't work out so for a while i ended up working by myself um, but with him, it was like, he, I, I had like training videos. So I basically have like a YouTube playlist on private that I sent him to kind of learn how to do the promo. And then I'll just split the money with him. Cause like you, to find a partner who's like really believes in your idea, like like you it's, in it, yeah. yeah, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like once I start making good money with this, then, like, I'll start bringing people in so I could actually afford to pay them and stuff like that. Because, you know, not everyone's going to believe when there's no money coming in. You know what I'm saying? So with him, it's just like, hey, help me post viral content. And you can post some paid place promo, too. And then I'll just split the money with you and go like that for now until you know we keep growing the team and whatnot yeah. and does that that works for you right now right yeah it's is yeah it's tough but yeah it, it works for now i definitely still want to keep expanding like i want to get a video editor and stuff because i'm still editing all the videos and that'd be fucking so. amazing that video editor fuck man <laughs> davy davy's really good bro yeah. davy's a really good video editor he I does all our videos bro he does all our videos. He does everything for us. It's it, pretty dope. Interviews are, like, easy to edit. It's just time-consuming, yeah. especially if you watch it so you don't, like, because so, now with YouTube, you got to, like, cut out certain cuss words. And, uh, I don't know. Me like and that. Queso just be going off sometimes. Yeah. So. Bro, so, <laughs> like, if you like, that, like uh, us, we, <laughs> we definitely do cuss just, we try, just a lot. Me and Queso did talk about it, though. We're going to try to calm down on the cuss words a bit so we could, like. So other people can listen to it. on it a little bit. At first, they were, like tripping and that was pissing me off because then i was like losing a lot of monetization but oh, yeah. now it's like you just can't say the f word in like the first or a whole bunch and then like within the first 10 seconds or whatever <laughs> we all look at each other like damn we we're, we're yeah, <laughs> boy and watch out. it's like i still have the f word in my videos and they, mm -hmm. they'll still monetize it's just like you gotta be there there youtube's hard to like gauge because like sometimes they'll demonetize something Sometimes they won't, 
But just try to keep it as clean as possible, yeah. I guess, to avoid it. So I gotta, I'm got i going to switch it up a little bit, but what do you think about <laughs> AI? What do you think? Mm-hmm. Do you think there's going to be a lot of phony rappers that come out with this AI? So me and Casey <laughs> were talking about it, and he was like, so what if a rapper just uses AI and creates music with AI and then just raps it, but he's really not good in real life? And, and then he shows up to do a freestyle, and he's <laughs> fucking garbage. Sucks, well, well, there was like that one AI rapper from like a year or two ago that was going viral and then I ne- didn't hear anything about it. And then like a year ago I heard something about people using like Drake's voice and making raps out of it. I don't Kanye know. Kanye yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. I don't really know. No, who who knows, you know? Um, what if they make it big out of being AI, dude? <laughs> yeah, what if, it, what if AI, someone gets right? you like that, dude? What if you're like, all right, I'm going to go interview this dude and – He's fucking garbage. You realize he's AI fucking generated than everything. Like you, you just know he's. You just call a bluff. You just That'd know be it. Insane. I haven't really thought about that. Like, like I don't know. Because there, there might be, dude. There might be. These motherfuckers are using AI to make movies, bro. I mean, I I could see it being something that's very serious, especially as like time goes on. Right now, I still feel like it's still not not there. But there. Like, it's coming, you know what I'm saying? Whether, yeah. you know, pause, but like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> no, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, no, for real though, it, it, you know, like Dion said, it's coming, so like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it, coming. There's going to be robots, pause. all that stuff. I don't know, man. Well, that's like, what we were saying, too. Eventually, sex robots are going to be like, uh, uh, you I, know, I, I am a woman, you know. Yeah. See, I'm still a woman, you know, shit my, like that. My thing with, like, robots is, like, I feel everyone's worried they're going to take all the jobs and stuff, which I get. But at the same time, like, if robots take over and take all the jobs, I think that just means, like, humans will be able to just chill and do what we want to do rather than work all day. But I don't know. It could go the well, complete opposite and they take over the world. And so do you think God. that, this, like, uh, <laughs> people get, like... Because that's what people think they want to do. Uh, what is it like uh, income that the government gives you, provides mm-hmm. money? Do you think the government's actually going to give you money when the robots are here? Or do you we, think... You don't got no work. Right, you, you don't got no work. yet. going to help you or is he going to, you know... Well, I feel like... I don't know. You, you know, know, that's that's a good, like, great... It's just a scary question, so, dude. Yeah, it's wait, like, what so the fuck? Look at it like this. Like, say AI comes in, we lose all of our fucking jobs, we don't got nothing at all yeah and they're doing all of our work basically like us but like they're slaves you know because they're not getting paid for it right but like you said what if they have feelings queso oh yeah they're gonna be like fuck you're this, overworking I'm us motherfucker work th- i'm not gonna work with getting without that's getting how we gotta paid. merge that's right. how we gotta merge with them yeah, and then we just merge and yeah then there's human robots that's how I we guess. turn into cyborgs i got for rick and morty and yeah. shit <laughs> well that'd that be crazy uh, thought well don't you guys remember when uh when was it Jake Paul said he was going to do that the first dude uh, oh, YouTuber that, with the auto tune and like a camera on his on his wrist? I don't think so. You never saw that? Like so Here, let's show him a video of that. It's not real, I don't think. It was like a fake video, but he's like, "Oh, he had like a camera on his wrist right here and it like pops out of his fucking wrist and he's like has like a vlog camera and it's like moving around with the robot arm and shit." I can see it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's I mean, just... with the way the world's going, we're going to have people on Mars soon, probably. Well, that's what me... So, me and Davey are fucking weirdos, and we talk about this shit, but according to scientists, bro, in Mars, there's this chemical, bro, like that red... The, it's like a red phosphorus. That's what makes the the Mars red. Mm-hmm. But supposedly, that chemical is only created after nuclear what, like explosions. Yeah. So they think that maybe there was nuclear explosions there in Mars, and that's why it's red. So what if we left Mars and came here to Earth? You you'll never know. That's why the <laughs> so universe. It's like, and now we want to go back to Mars. Yeah, the universe is so. Oh, this is that video real quick though. So you put like a vlog camera on his arm. I don't think that was a long real, time ago. Yeah, though, this dude. is like 2016, oh, okay, bro, yeah. like type shit. Like it's not real, but like but he had like auto tune. That dude did. Yeah, he has like auto tune in his voice and shit. First ever YouTuber with a vlog camera in my arm. Hey yo, what up, gang? Get on that level, cause 
Nestle, first ever rapper with auto tune in his arm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that be crazy. That's, creepy. <laughs> That's kinda <laughs> creepy, bro. I don't know. Man. That's wild. Yeah, that shit creepy as hell, but Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Um, <laughs> when I seen that, I was scared. I was scared. But that's yeah. a long time ago, though, dude. Jake Paul obviously don't have that shit on him, but. Right. But. That's, that's, that was when Jake Paul was popping, popping though. Yeah. I was like. I think he's still popping, bro. He's still nah, doing. Nah, this is like when he was like on YouTube heavy. fucking yeah, like peak. That's before he got like kicked off of YouTube because he does a lot of stupid shit on yeah. YouTube. That's probably it. That looks like it's probably edited. Oh yeah, it's edited. But, but we're saying like I can see it happening. It. Like that'd be crazy. Bro, the, I I don't know. <laughs> you gonna put a vlog camera in your arm or like a camera in your arm? Nah, not nah, if I don't have to. <laughs> I don't well, I mean, what about those Apple Visions? Would you wear them, bitches? Are those like the yeah the ones like that you're like goggles goggles bro? I haven't really looked into those too much. Honestly. Those are crazy. I, I guess you the... you could be watching porn over here while you're fucking. <laughs> Doing all kinds of shit, you while know. You're on the moon, bro. You can watch. You can just watch it while you're taking a shit on the moon. <laughs> yeah, straight up, dude. For real, bro. I'd be That's serious. <laughs> I don't know. Where, I I'd be getting worried, like with my son, like watching TV. Like he's he's just turned one a couple months ago, and he just be like, he just at stares it. at it. Yeah, well, like, and I'll like oh, turn it scary. off. Or I'll like put it on like sports, something boring, so he doesn't like pay attention to. But when you turn on like some kid show elmo or something and he just it's, they just be don't you think that shit's <laughs> weird? yeah bro it'd be scaring me i'm like bro you like their you, eyes huh their eyes yeah. just like widen up and right. they're just staring yeah, like and it, and what I'll, is what does it do to kids bro what does tv do to kids i don't know it's weird bro i'm sitting there because like, i've seen that with babies right. like baby babies you're sitting with the baby even dogs you'll be sitting with the dog and your dog's like yeah harley <laughs> just, dog just in here she'll be like sitting at the tv she'll be like sitting there just, just at astonished at what the fuck's wild. going on but then you think about it like we do the same thing with our phones we're just i, I feel like um, our attention span has gone so down oh yeah, yeah. It's eight that seconds, okay, so. for real that's why you gotta like with clips and shit that's why they kind of gotta be short because see this motherfucker knows i i didn't even know that really i didn't know that yeah, attention, the attention span, span is like eight, eight seconds sec- what the fuck that's, that's fucking up. foul no, yeah. so you got eight seconds to <laughs> that's Grab bro wow so that's what you, that's what you gotta do bro eight seconds you got eight seconds bro can yeah, you come in eight seconds no the clips, pause I wish. pause <laughs> <laughs> pause the clips are, are definitely what be going viral on youtube nowadays for sure it's like long form content pays more but the clips like i don't know they're just so they could just get pushed Quick. out so much quicker, I feel like. Cause right. They're just popping up and everybody's just scrolling. Well, see, uh, one, uh, one of our friends, he told us one time, he was like, why don't you guys just record all the videos? He's like, record all the videos and then make clips out of those. Make a bunch of clips. Make a bunch of clips so people want to watch the full videos. Then you mm. post the video. That's what I do. And then it's like, maybe it'll maybe it'll work more. But I don't, I don't know. We just, we just go off by what the fuck, you know. We just, we post right after one another, you know. We make a video, we post it. Well, so like, what I try to do, like the most, I feel like is like I'll upload my video, and then after I upload it, I'll just make like. So on this app that I got, it generates clips for you. So like, you Mm. can put your video in there, it'll generate like certain clips. So then I'll get like that certain spots that they have it because the. The fucking AI on, uh, I use CapCut for like video editing and stuff. The AI on there is just not that great. So like it won't switch between people when they talk. Mm. So I'll just get that part of the clip, get the minute to where it's at. And then I'll go back to the video and clip it like that. Cause see, I need to take some game from that. Because I, I just like well, see, watch that, the video, clip out a part that I think is catchy. And then that's where AI is, is scary because yeah, so, Davey is saying that he's not even doing most of the videos. He told me the other day, he's like, bro. I fucking made the computer do this shit, <laughs> and I It'll generate, I, it like generates it for you. For you bro. So it's that's like crazy. that's scary. You're yeah. like dudes that are making videos like this, dude. <laughs> I need to look into that. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll let you. We'll hook you up with that shit. Two it's things not too on bad. that though. So when I first started, I just did full interviews. I didn't do clips. This was like 2018, 2019. But then, probably around 2020, 2021 ish, I started. Okay, let me do clips. 
especially with like big interviews like if it was a sm like a smaller artist i would just do the full part but then now i'm kind of at a point where i'm like i'll still do the full in and then i'll so i'll do clips drop the full interview after but now i'm kind of like i'll clip up parts of a, a, a viral interview or i feel like parts that would be good and then i'll post the full interview but um when it comes to the ai shit bro like hopefully my professors don't watch it. i mean you're Actually, you're good you're good because you're not editing shit you're just you know you're presenting your your what you got but it's just it, it's it's scary because like i you know from i don't know whenever I don't, kindergarten to like whenever i finished that front range college uh -huh. in 2020 we didn't use ai we didn't use yeah. ai at school like you know, if you were trying to figure out, like, you had to study. You had to, Fuck yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, figure out a way to make stuff happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, do the homework, write down notes. Nowadays, you got AI giving all the answers. Exactly. Doing all this stuff. So, it's like, do you it's mind-blowing. It, it you think teachers know? How high school is now. Like, how is high school now? And um, I want to talk about that. Hold on. <laughs> like, yeah, what, what is all the AI now? Because I know when I graduated. Well, because he was, he kind of got it. He kind of got that AI so, situation. I'm not going to cap, like, so I did online school for, like, half of my schooling. Mm -hmm. uh, so during COVID, like, we went into, like, online school because obviously we couldn't right. go to school and shit. So during that time, I'm not going to lie, like, I cheated a lot with my high school right. diploma. Well, it was your all online. Yeah, so I could literally go to Safari. I, did too. I, ain't gonna lie to <laughs> I could go to Safari, bro, and I could literally go to like Quizlet, and they'd right, have right. literally all my fucking answers on there, bro. But I've right. never really like tried to like generate nothing with AI as far as like essays and shit. Oh, you yeah. haven't. Okay. But if I had to do that shit, like if I could do that shit, I'd be doing it right now. Well, dude, Definitely. I I created like a subject on there because we were when we first started doing this, I asked. Chat GBT, like, what are some good fucking things we could do? And, bro, I'm not, I kid you not, bro, it gave me shit, like, like, buy this, and literally instructions to buy shit for it to start the podcast. And, like, <laughs> yeah. like it literally, yeah. it's like, it gives you a manual of how to do it. And it's fucking scary. That yeah. scares me, bro. It, like, gives you the answers to everything. Well, have you seen those <laughs> videos of when AI is talking to a another AI? Oh, and they're no, talking about killing yet. the human race? Bro. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that yet. It's like, scary. What does it say? It says they so, cut out the oxygen of the world and let people slowly die as they fucking, like... Uh, so, like, they would they would start killing trees. So, basically, what they're doing now, start tearing down trees, start tearing down all the rainforests, start creating global warming, start making uh, people hate each other through... Uh, via... Uh, electronically like, like, like what's yeah on? all that shit bro basically just causing what it's doing right now just keep doing what you're doing let it make people go against each other and it all goes it all goes end after that the world is a crazy place man i don't know we'll We're see getting some deep, deep so uh, thoughts going we'll We're see getting some deep, deep so uh, Thoughts going right now. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Chat GBT, bro. Six months ago, it couldn't tell. It couldn't uh, write a whole movie, but now it's creating movies to oh, picture. Like they're they're making too? picture movies with AI, bro, which is fucking picture nuts. movies. It's fucking nuts. They're actually creating characters with AI now. Digital characters. They make. They can, you can create houses with. Uh, I've seen this in my. <laughs> Dude, they're that's making scary. houses with like printers like look it up it's really <laughs> kind of old yeah like printers bro like 3d printers like actual houses so it's like a like huge ass 3d 3 printer yeah like austin texas that's top right. 10 3d printed houses of 2022 what, what the, the fuck? fuck yo how much does it cost to build a could you screen it on this one with prices ranging from ten thousand to four hundred thousand dollars, these structures are designed to help improve the cost of housing by providing quality living areas for individuals at an affordable rate. Damn, what the hell? Let's watch a video on that. Let's see what's up with that. Yeah, oh. For the ones working. Oh, 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 no, no ads, dude. No free ads on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> for real, we ain't getting paid. This is the house that Jack built. Is a nursery rhyme, which might need an update. How about? The house Jack printed. 
Here's Ben Tracy. What the fuck? <laughs> it looks like some sort of industrial soft serve machine. Precisely. This is like real, dog. I thought you were functional. joking. No, <laughs> Okay, I thought it was going to be like plastic or something. But that's no, they're making out of concrete and shit like that. Jason Ballard is the CEO of Icon, a company in Austin, Texas. Yeah, we're fucked, boys. Mexicans, go back to Mexico, bro. We don't need you no more, dog. Don't just bring this down there. At some point. Well, that's what I'm saying, Mexico. Just go back to Mexico, dude. They, they ain't going to have it for another 10 years, dude. You guys got 10 years left. <laughs> I'm one of you guys. I'll be there. With, I'll be there. Yeah, bro. We're damn. That shit's huge, bro. It looks like you're you're mine, huh? Cause you're in construction. Yeah, we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> we're fucked. You know how much it's done. It takes to build a fucking house like that. There's at least like at least 15, twenty cabrones. 15, 20 Mexicans yeah. running around that motherfucker. You know. Right. Now they just but, print it. Hey, this looks more structurally supported than that, though. I'm not gonna lie. It looks houses, good. Bro. Right. They use wood, so. The fact that, like, it's concrete would probably make it last for right long-ass time. You know, like, people... You got to think, like, Let's back go in the robots. Day, yeah, back in the day, though, they used to build everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, hey, hey, I'm tired of working construction, dude. Yeah. Send me to the office, dude. You not have to work. Yeah, it said, be a good or bad thing. We'll I could, I could be the guy managing the fucking machine, what if, dude. What if they get a robot in there fucking pulling electrical shit, bro? What the fuck am I going to do? Yeah, you're oh. fucked. Shit. <laughs> I just want to run that machine, dude. That's all I want to do. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just be... Wait, doesn't it do it itself, though? I think you got a lot Well, see, that guy looks like he's he's running. watching it, ma running it, you know? Just wa make, making sure that it's actually... Holy fuck. Nah, you still need some people. Yeah, it's still... It did the wiring and the plumbing, Dave. Icon says the concrete structures are wow. Oh, it is wood frame. And can better withstand natural disasters. So this house has curves. That's right. And you don't have to live in curves, a boy. Box. These wavy 3D printed walls will eventually become this high design home. Wow. Yeah, they look nice. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that shit looks. I'd nice live in it. Shit, but... I, I'd live in it for sure. Look at how it's like that dirt printing that shit hours. out though. In another company. That's scary though, dude. What if they like start making houses like that and just like uh see cuz those are well Austin, Texas. That's Austin, yeah, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what are the what is the chances that most of these people living in these houses are homeless? Cuz there's a lot of homeless people out in in And that could be a good thing of it too, is maybe yeah, they, they like thing. print like a whole community cuz they can do it so quick. I don't know. It's, Bro, it's like we'll just have to see. We know? we could help the homeless people, but I feel like It'd become a ho homeless village, you know. It would even if you right. help them. I feel like there's, there's some people that are just gonna, yeah. yeah there's certain, still gonna be people yeah. that are still gonna continue doing and demoralizing and destroying the the houses. Just what some people do. Did you guys see that yeah. that building in L.A. that got fucking that new building that they just made? They tagged, they up, tagged it the whole oh, building, bro. Yeah, bro, you gotta I'm fucking. Seen. You gotta see it. Yeah, holy fuck, dude. It looks like a GTA video, bro. You see that shit? It's like, what the fuck? It's, it's, uh... This one right look at here. that. Oh, yeah, I think that is. So, they went and tagged up That's this... GTA, shit. bro. No, they went and tagged up this building, and then somebody came through and, uh, like... Tagged like big ass letters on that shit all the way down, bro. And that shit looks dope. Like Look they it. trying to put out their brand and shit, you know? How did they do that without getting in trouble? That's so, so it's it's still, it's still under construction. It's it's still under construction. That's the thing. Still though, mm -hmm. no one see it, see it, seen it and stopped it. That's the thing, California, bro. Look right now is, is like, it's fucked. How would you stop all those people from? Oh, it was like a bunch of people. Yeah, at once? a lot of okay, people. It's a lot of people. They all. There's a video of that. I've, I've never yeah. seen that. I bet. I bet. He's probably in trouble. He probably whoever that is probably got caught by now. I don't think they. They. That's the thing. Uh, California's not getting anybody in trouble. They're arresting people, letting people go. No, bro. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, once that happens here in Colorado, it's like we're fucked. 
like it's that. Already di- happening, it's turning into a baby LA. Bro. Shit, we're a baby New York, bro. We're starting to freaking let people in here, like the, all these Venezuelans and just not just and Venezuelans. Pe- <laughs> so Jesus Christ! <laughs> I always say just Venezuelans, well, that, but that is like <laughs> it is a big deal. Like Forty thousand that came this year. I well, like that. that's just that's just what they said. That's, that's just like what they put out. yeah. They don't, they, know, they don't know how many like, people came in, people, but. Probably more, bro. I always I'm in the middle about that stuff. So like, I yeah. I'm okay that they come in, bro. I'm okay. They they are running from somewhere, but yeah. I don't I don't think we should not see, bro. We we should see who the fuck's coming in. You know? Did yeah. you see those two Syrian dudes that walked in and they're like walking? They have five eleven fucking jackets. You know what those are? Are right? They're like tactical armor jackets, bro. Yeah. They have armor armor plates in them. So. This is, like, what I feel about it, I guess, is, like, bro, they don't got nowhere to go, bro. You got to think. They're fucking bombing their country, bro. They're fucking hitting. They hit, what, Gaza? They hit, uh, they're in Rafa right now, right? That's where they're, everybody's at. And, bro, they just keep blowing these fucking pe- these places up, bro, with all these innocent people, bro, for no fucking reason. That is really sad, bro. Right, right. No reason at all. They don't, they don't, they didn't do anything, bro. They're just trying to live like us, bro. That's all they're doing. That's literally all they're doing, and. They don't got nowhere to go, so I understand like why they're coming here, but like some of some people that do come over here, just some of them just want to, like Queso said, demoralize things and. Well, they ain't got no money, so yeah. they're gonna do what they gotta do. To well, like those guys money. that beat the shit out of the fucking cop, dude, the police officer. and then they they fucking they get out of jail and they're flipping off the cameras. They're giving, they're doing the Tupac, they're doing the fuck you, motherfuckers, fuck you. Oh, you're putting. Oh yeah, they extended my. <laughs> my thing on that is <laughs> like. About that. I don't know. I feel bad for them, especially like the Venezuelan and stuff. Cause I I be seeing him like I was at Walmart last week and he was a well dressed man. He looked clean. He had his son with him, and like he didn't speak English, but he just he he, he a little bit. He was like I'm from Venezuela. He said, and I gave him like a dollar because I was like, damn, like he's he he looks like a clean dude. Like he ain't like one of these homeless dudes off crack and shit. So. Yeah, they look. They obviously look different, bro. Yeah. You can tell when somebody is uh, either going through a hard time. They're just going through a hard time, or they got or like they, positive. Yeah, like, yeah. Like they're trying to do something better for their family. Mm-hmm. And but then the other part of it is like, you know, it, and, and I also feel like, man, I mean, they're also boosting like our population. So I feel like if we were to go to war someday, I think that could potentially help. But at the same time, it's like. But that's the scary, bro. And then, like, the more influx, you know, a lot of them, some of them might be cool and nice, but then there, you're, there's going to be people that are like, I got to get my bread by any means, so I'm going to go steal or do what I got to do, you know? And, like, like and, and I'm not, I don't even necessarily blame them either. Because yeah. if, if you're well, in that see, position, kids, you need to get your bread to feed your son, like, you know? There's kids but, with, like, little kids, bro, that are, I understand. The parents are running away. They're trying to get a, get their kids away from this life but some of these kids bro that are coming here they're already like they were in that life over there you know what i'm saying like some of those kids were already like uh how do i explain it they already had guns they already had friends that were doing shit bad shit over there you know what i'm saying so when they get over here they start doing bad shit and then they get in trouble right so like this dude this uh 16 year old kid in new york shot a cop and Killed the cop, bro. bro. He killed the cop, bro. And he's facing fucking like thirty years. And I you know what I gotta say to that is like, bro, you deserve that shit. Well like but you gotta look at it this way, okay. So he's a kid though, bro. He is a kid, yes. He's a kid and on top like he may have done that, but like I don't think he meant to do that, bro. By the way his face looks It's kinda scary though. Like like, you don't don't know they're meant to do it, bro. You don't know they're the fact that you can take someone's life Life, and not and, not, like, and like, what is he gonna get? Have a t- like, be able to get out of jail at some point, and live life is crazy. Bro. Yeah, like, like to me, know. it's very scary, bro. Because if an American would have done that, any of us would have done that, bro. We don't see it, the fucking light of day ever in in our fucking lives. I I don't care. You're white, black, whatever, Mexican. I don't care. You're not seeing the fucking day anymore. The daylight is gone for you. You killed the fucking cop, but. An immigrant, and it's sorry because my family's immigrants, bro. Like uh, my family, they they're immigrants, so it's really hard to. I'm right in the middle, dude. It's like, is that okay? No, it's not okay. These fucking cops are these cops protect us. Obviously, 
Not all of them do. Some of them yeah, surpiece some shit. Of cops too. But I there hate, is a lot I hate of good shit. I hate good the cops. people that say all cops are bad. Yeah, they're I hate, not. I'm sorry. They're not. I know. They're not that's all bad. That's too yeah. left. That's yeah. way too left. Like, yeah. Not people are too bad, left bro. and too right. There's yeah. You gotta. You gotta be yeah. somewhere in the middle. God damn it. You know. You gotta. I hate that, man. Yeah. You gotta. I've met some cool cops. I've met some assholes too. Yeah. You know. That's what. I mean, I feel like it's their job, bro. They got their family. They gotta yeah, that cop it. that gave me that fucking speeding ticket the other day. I've had, had a couple, man. I'm, I'm like, man, come on, chill out. You ain't gotta be this extra. Nah, he wasn't like a no. dick, but like I was going too fast, bro. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you keeping it real. Yeah. Well, see, like <laughs> I, I feel like uh, you told me about like problems that you had with cops too. So I feel yeah. like not, we've all had our fair share with problems with cops, but. At the end of the day, if you have a problem at home, you're fucking someone's choking at your far party. You you're like, who are you gonna call, bro? You what are you gonna call fucking Juanito from down the street <laughs> or bring your fucking to bring you a machete? Fuck no, you ain't. ain't you know, nobody want to be doctors and nobody wants to be fucking. It seems like like kids nowadays they just don't want to be doctors. They don't want to be certain things. They just want to do. And that's where I think the cops fucked up, bro. They should have kept hiring people from. Where they lived. Let's say you lived in Thornton. All right, you want to work for Thornton PD? Fuck yeah! yeah we come work for guy, work you know, PD. Like, like let's yeah, come work here. Guy. You know, he's like people you know from your your. That can, I can see how that could be an issue too, though, because yeah. what? Because they might have some people they didn't like in high school or something. Yeah, and people come <laughs> and look for you. <laughs> and... Like, all right, now I'm intentionally. Oh, this is that motherfucker, David. I, I knew him in high school. That yeah. motherfucker, <laughs> David <laughs> Swirly. Right, yeah. Yeah. Get his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that would be a problem that. too. But there definitely needs to be regulations or something. But but back then, but nothing, none of that shit happened. None of that shit happened though. What what happened that was like, all right, it's okay for us to go beat the shit out of fucking cops and go shoot them down yeah, yeah, and yeah. and not go to jail. The world's That's getting crazier. It's, well, we got more people, so this is just gonna be more crazy shit happening. Yeah. Well. Shit, if you have a lady, if you have anybody, if you have a woman with you, and she's out by herself, take care of her. Make sure she gets where yeah, she like, needs to be. Because these fucking right. guys are targeting women, bro. I don't yeah. even let my girl carry her purse, bro. Like, I won't even let her carry her purse. Because they're targeting so, people right now, bro. My auntie, bro, uh, just a couple weeks ago, somebody went up, bro, and she was walking her dog outside, and she had her purse on her shoulder. And some guy came up on one of those lime scooters and fucking snatched her purse, bro. And they, they went back to her house and uh, used her car alarm thing and had her garage opener and shit. And uh, opened up the fucking garage and stole her car too, bro. They didn't just yeah. take her purse. They took her fucking car. Well, that's car a scary. Too, now they have her garage door so they can go well, in her house too moved, now. So, so it's, it's like... okay. Like, it's okay now. But, like, if she didn't move, she'd be fucked, bro. Like, yeah. but, but it was an apartment, though. It wasn't like a... Oh, well, that's still scary. They're still going in an apartment complex steal from other people. Yeah, there's so much crazy stuff. Like, my girl is always stressing just about stuff. And then I'm stressed. I'm like, fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially when you bring a kid in the world, too. You're like, damn, you got to be extra, extra cautious. Like, walking down. And especially, like, with Mahai Minute now, like. People that know you and shit like that. I'm not really, like, famous. But, like, when it comes to the rap scene, hip-hop scene, like. People know you, of course. I'll be at the gym, bro, just hooping and, like. I can't even hoop without not getting recognized sometimes. And, like, that's my piece. That's my getaway, you know, from, like, this. So, like, I'll be skeptical. Like, oh, that's a little rough. I can't trust yeah. people. You know, I don't know what to trust who because people have said so much crazy stuff on the Internet. You know, I don't know what to. So, so do you get, to. like, have you gotten, like, because me and Davey, we get a lot of fucking shit talked all the time. Like a lot of time, like talking about like, <laughs> like how, they uh, they hate that I'm Mexican. Should, <laughs> I don't I don't know why they just they, they just hate that I'm Mexican. <laughs> they they're like, why do you? <laughs> they, 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 they told Dave they were like, why are you fuck, doing a podcast yeah, with the Mexican? Remember, I was just like, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what they used to call me. Man. Oh. My fucking ears are pretty big, bro. Someone call me Dumbo, I might just fucking cry. <laughs> 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 no, that's that's just what comes with it. When when you're like your ears are not that big though. Now they've kind of. My head is like. Do you feel when like I was young, they're I just wide or what? They're just wide. Is yeah, that what wide. it was? But when I was younger, it was worse because I, I see head. that happened to me. I had that. I, had I think that. that's kind of a lot. I feel like guys, guys, that just happens to dudes. I feel like yeah, I knew a lot <laughs> yeah, of dudes. I knew a lot of them ears. Okay, so nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. 
But you ain't lying though. Like that's just what comes with being a content creator or just putting yourself out there, people. But that, but then you at first you're like, what? Why are these people hating? But then you learn. You're like, I'm putting myself out there to be criticized, so yeah. I can't really be mad. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, we do get. No, not gonna lie though. Like I've gotten like some funny they ass. They call queso a, a lot of people call queso Latino X for some reason. Yeah, like X Tentacion. <laughs> I don't know. That's just so funny. I don't know why. Like, so, like, you know how people, people say Latino, Latino X? X? You know how people say it's like, people <laughs> say, like, we're Latino X? RPX. <laughs> Latinos don't like being called Latino X. They I'm just confused. like. I don't know. So, like, it's either Hispanic like or. Either. It's either Hispanic or Latino. That's it. There's no Latino X. And people always try to, like, I don't know why. What does that mean? Though? What is I, don't know. Mean? I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, d- I have no idea. I, I could yeah. care less. I d- but I, I seen that, and I was like, I wonder what they mean by Latino X. What does that mean, Davey? Oh, it's Latin X. Latin X is a... What the hell did I say? A gender, gender no. neutral or non-binary <laughs> alternative the gen- oh, Latino. It says the general neutral suffix replaces the O-A ending of Latino and Latina. That are typically... Oh, it's the uh, same bullshit. Very, yeah. It's it. the same. It's the same <laughs> shit. They, they're trying to call you like... Gender neutral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like... My bad. I ain't... <laughs> it's like... I, I was just like... Oh, well, people, all right. You get the <laughs> I was like, you all can't right. win, bro. You just... Whatever. All right. I was like, all right, then. I guess <laughs> I'm a Latinx. I've heard some crazy conspiracies about myself. I ain't going to Oh, for real? Yeah. It's crazy. Do you have, you have one that you want to drop right now? All right. All right. Yeah, sure. Because we like conspiracy theories, yeah, and, you know? if you talk shit about this dude, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> no, one dude, uh, this dude, he's a DJ. Well, he don't really be making moves anymore, but, like, he... Uh, the, he we wonder here. why. He be out here. Um, I met him once and didn't actually speak to him, but, like, I seen him at a club. He didn't say nothing, but, like, he was on the internet for years talking about he says i'm a, a plant industry plant that's like that i like some label or someone planted me in the denver music scene to like start you up yeah i guess like that's a good that's stuff. a good fucking conspiracy i <laughs> might just think about the hey dude i mean you might be now it I'm might be real dude it might be shit. real like, that might no. be real and see look davies over here like <laughs> scared, dude. No, yeah. You said I'm an industry plant, and like, where'd you say I you're from, bro? It's like, <laughs> I just say I work for the feds. He, Think you're lateral, yeah, type shit. That's bullshit. Um, I don't know, just random stuff. Someone said they seen a video of me. Oh, this they, was like four or five years ago. Someone was like, I got like a five minute interrogation video of Mile High Minute. Still haven't seen the video, but that was like four years ago. We want to see the video, yeah, motherfuckers. Pull that him, shit I out. Him. I said, hey, can you post the video? Because I don't know what he's talking see, about. See, my man was said. some random dude, too. I don't know who Nah, was, he's, he's just trying to get clout off of you, bro. Right, right. Because you, obviously you're fucking big, bro. But it's weird how people do that. They'll literally like lie or just say weird stuff. Or think they, like, they know you. Like, they say that they know you. Like, when I... When I met you, bro, I was like, damn, that's pretty dope. I know my whole minute. And I told David. It was like, hey, bro, I... I met my whole minute. He's like, shut the fuck up, bitch. You don't know that nigga. And I was like, I was like, I was like, uh, I was like bro, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, I fucking met him. Like, I, he's cool as fuck. I was like, he's the humblest pe- person ever. Did I not tell you? I was like, bro, he's cool as fuck. I was like, he's cool as fuck. I'll just be trying to. And do then. That. I got a lot of work to do. I, I do. Uh, I've, I've known you for what? Like, three years now? Because I've. Pretty much. Uh, like three that. years? Yeah. Cause, Something like that. When, however long you've been. Yeah, because I've been with four years so yeah. when i met you i had been, been friends. yeah yeah oh, oh you're good what would yeah, block but, the name uh yeah i'm pretty sure yeah i've known you for a while but i just yeah. we never like i've never hung out with you nothing like that and this is like the first time we actually hang out like right right this, we would just hang out, like, yeah and, with your brother or whatever because that's who i know so, more uh, one yeah. question i guess like that i had for you was uh in Montbello and shit, uh, yeah. like, where exactly in Montbello do you do, like, your videos and shit? Like, it just... Like, the, are you talking about the one I've been dropping recently? Yeah, the ones you've been that, dropping. So recently. that, how that went was, shout out my boy H-Sab, Bell Side Sav. He's a dope artist from here. I'm gonna have to check him out. You said his name was what? My bad. H-Sav. H-Sav. So, he, well, how what happened was, um, if you look on YouTube... A lot of the interviews and stuff that does well, 
is like going outside and doing interviews with artists in their neighborhood and stuff like that. So I talked to him, shout out my boy Vicuals. He's a dope videographer out here. And I know he uh, tapped in with the Montbello area. So I was like, hey, like what artist should I interview for Montbello like outside type type thing, you know? So he said HF. Um, so he recommended me in. I connected with him. We did the first interview. Boom, went good i think we did like 5k it might be more by now <laughs> something like dope. that i was like okay that's dope and then um but we stayed in contact a couple months later for 4 uh, 420 weekend he said hey and this is an example going back to what i brought up at the beginning of the conversation he said i'm trying to get like a bunch of artists from my Bello together and like we're all gonna link up and do an interview at Falcon Park, which is where that interview was. Oh, that's well, where they had that big ass interview where yeah. you had all those guys in there. So, huh? Yeah, I saw, I seen that dude. It's Falcon Park. It's we were at the Darren Williams statue at the Boys and Girls Club, and then we went to like No Name Park. But what happened with that is Asia was trying to bring peace. Like they're a little older, so like you know, there's no, you know. But like, they think a little better than the younger. Yeah, they don't want to. Yeah, they don't want no beef. They're right. just trying to. They're trying to Be cool. create. The they're trying to create new shit. What brought the guns in and shit? You know, instead of you know. Well, it's just harder because when you're young, you don't. You haven't went through enough life experiences. And, well, guns been hard. around always, bro. Yeah, they just. Yeah, learned, but people, learned, yeah, people yeah, just you know? kids nowadays are using guns more than. Back they need then. to. Bro. I'm it's learning. Good. When I was in high school, I was doing some dumbass shit. You know what I'm saying? But I learned, and now I'm agreed. I I was there too. <laughs> but Bro. that interview was um he you know it was peace like bringing people from different sections together on some cool stuff so I, I liked it it was a good look for the city and even when you're doing peaceful stuff like that bringing people from different sides there's together, still like heat or what there's people on the back end just you know mad or talking shit because they're not involved or they're you know people well, why not show these. up why not show up why not just go and try the, to try to mate i mean you can only tell so many people so when they don't get told it's just it's it's just people are always gonna find a reason i get it it's that. all it's all word of uh mouth and and listening right. you know everybody's listening to what's gonna like let's say you guys meet up it's all word of mouth everybody tells each other you know Street nobody stock yeah, case yeah right. exactly so people obviously they do get angry. I get that. We. Yeah. I used to have. See, I used to have. I used to sing with my friends at this ra like ranch parties and shit like that. We would have ranch parties. Good, dude. We'd yeah, have ranch parties, good. bro. Yeah, and we would have like big ass ranch parties. So there'd be times people would show up and they're not invited, bro. Right. You know, and it's like, how the fuck did you know about the party? But you can't kick them out because they start shit outside the well, party. Uh, right. Yeah, I I've had dealt with that. Yeah. It's so it's real... like. <laughs> say it, say it. Say it. No, to answer your question, I haven't really. I don't have like a specific spot where I do interviews usually. Like I have my couple locations and studios, but I just go wherever. See, the reason why we ask you that is because we want to do like podcasts outside. I want to do yeah. like like that a too, camping, like going camping or something, yeah, like fishing, bro, yeah, fishing or something, or something like that, bro. That'd be sick. Imagine you're just fishing, In talking so, shit, drinking yeah. beer. See, ideas, I want to do but... something more like this where I'm like, I got my own location and I'm... Well, you can, bro. I'm Why don't you do it? Why don't you do that <laughs> shit? And fucking... Can... You already got the people following you, dude. You already got people following you. You just... And people want to be on your interviews, bro. I, I kid you not. How many people would want to be on your interview? Oh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to fucking You don't have to work hard for it anymore Just fucking start it Get a cup Honestly how much was our setup Like 600 bucks right. you get a For a couple yeah. mics Three mics But and, really do I guess really do research on the mics Like and shit that you want Yeah, yeah. You gotta get Rode Rode is yeah. good quality I Well, tried. Sure, well mics sure, sure mics good, Sure mics yeah. Are really good Sure M7s what was Yeah the M7s or the D7s D7. Those are really good Okay But we like these ones because they work for us. You yeah, know, it was a good setup. Cap, they're a little cheaper than the other mics, so we kind of. Yeah. Well, eventually, yeah. we want to get like. Roads are nice, though. Like, like, well, we've like seen them. other like big I podcasters like have them. So we're like, if they have them, yeah, fuck it, let's try, let's them, try them out. And we tried them out, and they're good. They're and good. that's a good thing that you guys did that because I've tried cutting corners before, and I bought like some cheap knockoff brand of like the last. Oh, don't worry. We did. We did oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> we did that. Yeah. Yeah, and then it don't work two, two episodes later, and you're like, bro, I should have just bought the nice ones. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely returned a lot of uh, 
unnecessary shit that we shouldn't have had, but right. you know, but we return those mics. We still got those fucking. Pieces. Oh, do we? <laughs> Sounds to like a pawn shop for like ten bucks or something. For real. For real that's a good idea. You got any other questions for my boy right here? So, we got any? I seen like uh, fuck. Who was it that you interviewed? One of Chief Keith's homies, Lil Reese. Lil yeah, Reese. Lil Reese. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. H- how did you like get in connection with him? I guess like. So, for real, that is badass, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, what the? Man. That was sick. Lil Reese, so. But <laughs> hold on, I want to say something before he says anything because we we're. It was his brother's wedding. And he was talking about how he was going to have some big people that year. He's like, this year I'm going to have a lot of people in my podcast, in my stuff, you know. Not your podcast, but, you know, in my I'm in it. And you're going to have, like, some dope-ass people. And not even kidding, like, two months later, three months later, he drops a fucking interview <laughs> with Lil Reese. And it's like, damn, this dude is fucking doing it, bro. And I was there, so I seen, I was there when he talked about it, so... It, like you said, it is manifesting. No, facts. Um, with the little Reese connection, how I've been doing this damn near this whole time is just reaching out to people. You know, you reach out to 100 people, five or ten are going to say yes. You know what I'm saying? But with the little Reese, funny story. So someone randomly texts my business line like, hey. Um, this is Lil Reese manager. If you want to interview That's him. That's so bad. Blah, blah, blah. No, but hold on. This, hold on. <laughs> it's so sick. So some random number, I'm like, who's this? Like, you know, he, and he's trying to charge me or whatever. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I don't trust this dude. Why don't I actually just hit up Lil Reese himself? So I go on Twitter, DM Lil Reese. I say, hey, what kind of value do I need to provide in order to interview you? And that's when you want to bring a guest on, like, you want to – show that you want to make sure they feel like they're getting value out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, especially when you're coming up, it's, look at a little Reese, he's signed. He yeah, like with like us like, with you, bro. Yeah, like yeah. us with you. We're we're trying to have you on and we're trying to like, yeah. we're trying to boost our shit up too. Like it, right. the, at the end of the day, that's what it is, you know. But we, we find you interesting. Like, so when you find these guys like Lil Reese, that's a fucking interesting right. dude, bro. You know, that's, that's yeah, someone yeah. that you want to have on your fucking right. pod. So I just DM'd him on Twitter and uh, he responded. We worked out a deal. You know, I had to pay him uh, a hefty penny, you know what I'm saying? But you got to be willing to invest in your craft if, if you want to get those types of guests and, and really take your brand to that next level. I ain't going to lie, though. Like, I'm, that was in a situation where – I took advantage of a viral moment but like i could have done such a better interview bro like it, i was so nervous and like just it was your first biggest yeah, interview that, bro yeah, no, it was like my, your, still like, my like as your, far as view was but like, i feel like i've interviewed some pretty big people but like none have done those numbers yet we're, we're gonna get you some good ass artists bro on on your on your thing you already got good shit you already got but we're gonna help you out get some more people get you out there more I want to get you with Chris, bro. Chris is he's his podcast is is sick, bro. He has more more followers than us yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like, I hope like you yeah. know you guys get some followers and hell yeah, no, people thank that you, bro. Tap in for interviews too after this. I would no, just we'll, say if if you do end up wanting to interview any rappers I'm following, just make sure you're smart about it. I wouldn't, you know. I think you know where I'm going. Yeah, yeah no, because uh, some yeah, people yeah. are uh, different. They like to yeah, yeah they uh, like to uh, steal and. Uh, they well, like to be goons. Uh, you just, <laughs> it's like, you, you be careful, man, because like I, you gotta watch how you move. Yeah, yeah. There's just like well, see, not a lot of people get to come here. Yeah, we don't we don't let people know where we're at. You know, like yeah, if you come here, it's because we trust you. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're trusting you, and it's uh, I, I do want to have a lot of other people, too. but it's like I tell Dave, I don't want to bring him here. Right. It's like, oh. Just go to a library or something. If you do want to interview like a big artist in the city that Yeah, year, we're definitely gonna do that. Something like that. But like I Well see, know, we see I'm, studios like fifty bucks for an hour. We yeah. do an hour. You know, we doing like you and like what we're doing right now, this is an hour. We yeah. do an hour and then we're out. But I mean there's a, it's about to be an hour. <laughs> <laughs> right now. There's been some dope artists and stuff, but it's I've never really had issues like stealing wise a little bit but like more so just like trust wise like you know you look out for someone or or for example say someone comes along and they're like hey i'll give you an interview with 
for example, Juice World, rest in peace. You know, just because he's on the wall, that's yeah. why I would. Yeah. Nine, 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 shit. So say they bring Juice World to your platform. Whoever that person is is going to expect you to be in debt to them for life. Of course. So you got to be smart about like who you're accepting favors from. I'll just say this: oh, yeah. if you've read the Forty Eight Laws of Power, look up Rule Forty, the free lunch. Just look. I've up. I've I've fucking studied that. Very, Free very lunch. much. That's why that's I feel like, that's why I told you. I was like, bro, when we, I, I want to create a team, bro. I don't want to freaking, you know, here in Denver, we got to have a yeah. badass team, bro. We got to have like lunch. the best yeah. fucking, <laughs> like the best interviews. We got to have dope people working together, you know, like. All right. Here's what he was talking about. It says, overview of loft number 40 despise the free lunch remember that everything has a price and don't accept free gifts but use a desire for a free lunch to deceive others use gifts to build a reputation of generosity which creates an aurora of power and also to obligate people to you so basically what i'm saying is just be careful who you accept like gifts from you yeah. know what i'm saying if for example i'm coming on this show because I fuck with you. Yeah. That's it. I, I just, you know, I, yeah. I, I, of course, I don't, I don't mind talking my story. No, not only that, I know. feel like uh, you, you've you been very, very forward yeah, with me. You've told me, hey, right. bro, this is a business to me. You know, this is your this is your business, bro. You know, like the way you it's talk crazy. about the way you talk about it's your close. your business, it's it's serious. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't fuck around. Like, right, right. This is your time. Obviously, I, obviously, we crazy. have you here. Uh. And this is your time. Right now, you could be making money. You know what I'm saying? Like, right yeah. now. But. I'm, I, point being is just, like, I came on here because, like, I mess with y'all. I like that y'all got an upcoming platform. I know what it's like to try and build that. But because I came on here, I'm not expecting, okay, now after this, you guys have to shut out my high minute. If you guys no, but, like, no, but like, get this. Get this. But, but, for, you, but, but for us, people, but for us, it is, though. But for us, it is, though. It's like, all right, you helped us out, bro. Like I even told yeah, Davey, I, like I, gotta, I told Davey, I was like, bro, we gotta. I was like, we gotta help people, bro. I was like, if yeah. they're helping us, I was like, if they need help with video, fuck, we could help with video. We could fucking help them. We could fucking take video for them. We could fucking whatever they need, we could help. Yeah. Like that's that's I what I want to yeah. do, bro. That's what I want to do because we're we're. I told Davey, we're in the business to to you know Joe Rogan. Them motherfuckers have he had all these guys, dude. He started with. Red Band, Tony Hinchcliffe, all these fucking now guys. Now all of them fucking... got their own shit. Right, right. And they're big as fuck. That's what I want. Yeah. I want to have, we start our own, pro like you got your own shit, we got our own shit, but we work together. We could collaborate. We, There's no beef, like you said. Right, there's right. no beef. There's no fucking bad blood. There's, And we could work together. Yeah. I like that. I, like, I want to do that. Right. And you have been very humble with us, bro. Thank you for, so, for okay. being here, for real. This shit is crazy because I didn't know this, but you were just talking about the, the 48, what is it, 48 Laws 48 of Attraction? 48 Laws of Power. Power, okay. By Robert Greene. This book. shit says, unsurprisingly, the book is oft request within the U.S. prison libraries, but is to focus on how to acquire power has made it unpopular with authorities. Green himself <laughs> has spoken out against prison censorship, calling it a form of control. It's the ultimate form of power of manipulation. Yeah, because so, you learn bro, how to bad. manipulate no, people, bro. It's banned in prison. Bro. Yeah, because, dude, because b crazy. dude, when you're in prison, all you got is time. All you got is time to become a manipulative dude. You you learn how to manipulate people. You learn how to work things in your favor. And that's what most of these rich, powerful guys do. They learn these. And they learn how to make these enemies friends. <laughs> Keep your enemies and, close and read, that, and the, read the them, of, read them. Uh, that tells you, it tells you, keep, make your enemies, art of war. Yeah, make that. your enemies, your friends. It's fucking scary because if you have your enemies as friends, bro, they'll be more loyal than your best friend, bro. Cause they have something to prove to you, well, which is scary. And hate is love. A lot of people that may hate or that, for example, that person in the comments calling you Latinx or whatever. He might, just, really like my, he might just like my. He might just like me, dude. He might just like me, dude. Oh, hey, dude. hey, motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> to be honest, bro. Like that's yep. how it goes. Like a lot of people that have hated on me, bro. I see him in person. Like, I really, I really messed with your platform, bro. I just wanted to shout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how it goes. Yeah. But when when it comes to this, bro, like, I just. That's crazy I, that I, you brought this up, bro. I learned that just because, like, 
Bro, I've ran into it so many times in this industry where, like, someone will do me a favor and then, like, now all of a sudden I feel like I owe them so much or they feel like they owe me so much. So that's why just go pay for that expensive mic. Go pay for go pay someone to do something for you. If, you know, someone wants to offer you free custom shoes, just pay them because, like, you're going to get way more in return and you're not going to have to deal with those hidden obligations and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, that is going to cause you more mental stress than anyway. It's just not worth it. So I like, I like the way you that. think, bro. And I think that's, that's a smart way to, to do things for real, because that's, uh, that's real smart, bro. I didn't know you do, you knew, you actually read books. There's motherfuckers that don't. Times, well, I, I you probably, this, probably audio book. this is, yeah, this is, book. so this I'll is different. You listen to it, but. I listen to it too, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I listened to the but, Law of Attraction too when I was all heartbroken. But <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> okay. nah, dude. But it it'll make you think different about life, bro. Yeah, it it'll, it'll yeah. give you different perspective about, uh, about life. The Law of Attraction is because of X, bro. So because yeah. he so he would talk about that. Yeah, he he would talk about that a lot. What do you? Like, it would like trip me out because I was only like 12, bro, and he was talking about that shit. He's like the Law of Attraction. He's like, go look that shit up. And he's, like, talking to this guy, like, basically a guy that does, like, interviews like you, you know? Mm-hmm. And he goes up to him. He's like, hey, X. And X is just being so humble, bro. Fuck, that's that's how I want to be, bro. Like that dude. I want to be, like, someone comes up to me and be humble and be able right. to be myself. That's sad that he got killed, yeah, bro. Right. That's sad that he got killed. Bro, because, right. like you're saying, you got you got people that hate on you just because you're you, bro. There's people saying that you there's conspiracy theories on you, dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you think a dude won't conspire to try to kill you? Like, it, oh, okay. like, it, like that's definitely. scary. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm but that's scary. No, no but that's scary. That's why you got to move smart. That's why I moved where I, I'm. I used to live up here. People, it they get, it's weird, bro. Like this envy, like they don't want to see you win. It's or, real, bro. I don't know how. It it's real. It. It's the and devil is real, my friend. That's they, the devil, bro. Yeah, they love you so much that they... <laughs> they can't see you win, bro. Yeah, but they'll keep watching your stuff and keep on, keep talking. It's it's weird. I don't understand it. I don't know. I've always been the type of person that if I cheer for other people to win, then that means I'm going to win. So yeah, why exactly. Why not just cheer for other people to win? Yeah, the sun, hits every, the sun hits everybody. You right. know, that's that's what it is, you know? And yeah. I feel like... Uh, and even if I'll catch myself like... I was watching Anthony Davis interview the uh, the other day. I'm like, oh, it's such a nice house. Like, <laughs> I can't get mad at him for having this nice house. I gotta go harder. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You, you're like, I want that motherfucker, so I'm gonna keep. Trying well, see, to that's the cars up there's good. Envy. I feel like there's right. good envy and there's bad envy. Because right. you could be envious and be like, I'm gonna get that so shit we, one yeah, day. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. That dude has it. I can do it too. I want right. that. You know, he has too. it. He right. could do it. I could do it too. You know, right. like, but. There's motherfuckers to be like, oh, I'll never be there, dude. Oh my god, you He's know. This flat third, like <laughs> yeah. Talking yeah. crazy. Yeah. But uh, how long can you stay for? Uh, we don't want to keep you too long. Yeah, we don't keep you too too, too, too long. It's a uh, five forty. Well, I'll probably leave soon. So I mean, if, if yeah, you have yeah. any other like questions, or I, any I think Davey you wanted know. to put you on the spot tonight, and uh, he wanted to make you rap, bro. <laughs> you <can even laughs> freestyle, though, dude. So you don't have to. You don't have to go hard, you know. But you know, it just. Nah, <laughs> yeah, I'm a it's okay. Hey, we'll go with you, dude. We'll do it with yeah, you. We're not that great at it either. Bro. We suck too. <laughs> like go off a of beat. Or yeah. Man? Yeah. Do you got a beat in mind or anything? Or? I don't be rapping, man. I'm a blogger. He's a blogger, right? right. Oh, but what if you, dude, What if so you fucking go off, either, dude? So. I might. I might you know, what if you go off? <laughs> We've had people fucking what, go off, dude. What beats do you like more? Like you like older type beats? You like newer style or? Look at that first <laughs> first fucking thing. Mile high minute. That's love. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know what kind of beats do I like. Maybe like a. I don't know, bro. I'm gonna be real. I'm more of a lyrical type of person nowadays. Okay. Where I listen, okay. I listen to like. They call him AP. So I don't know if y'all have heard of him. He's from the town, but he's more just deep, kind of like J Cole vibe type of rap. So look up a J Cole uh, type beat. But <laughs> we I got. <laughs> no, nah, it's all good, bro. We you suck. Don't want to, it's okay. We don't have. We I'll don't it, hear it and see if. Yeah, we get, like we said, we we do this just to fuck around. Yeah, we're not like. Yeah, so y'all yeah. Go yeah, yeah, we'll go first. Yeah, we'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go first. You like that beater? 
It's fine. This is what it is. It's like a mellow beat, baby. I'll try to go first. I sit here and I picture this shit. How I can vision and envision everything that I want. We were trying to talk about what we were talking about. I'm chilling with my dog. Trying to talk about what we were talking about. Yeah, watch. Got some envious people. And they hating. Yeah, they hating. Fuck them niggas, I'll be starting to spray him. Uh, I'ma shoot him up with this heroin. Fuck them. And this shit is sad. How all these people coming from other countries that we never seen before. And I don't really know if I could keep myself going with all this pressure that's building up inside my mind i might collapse i might feel my own mind collide with different universes and different paths we need to all come together and get it back because if we don't then we gonna be broken living on the street and i don't want to do that shit i'm just trying to fucking eat and my mama she been yelling at me for days telling me i need to get my plates about my room but i ain't trying to do that shit i ain't trying to do that shit i feel Fucked up, but it's okay because I've been really trying to do this shit. Sorry, I'm not that great. Right. We're trying to go, trying to fucking flow. Fuck these fucking hoes. I know it, I do it every fucking day. Listen to you niggas, fuck you niggas. All you say is fucking gay. Oh, oh, listen to your hoe, fuck your bro. I don't wanna do it no more. I just speak in facts, listen to my racks. Ooh, pull it and retract. Listen to me, baby, I've been pulling hella stacks. Ooh. Listen to me, baby, feeling ooh, feeling like I killed a nigga, cool, ooh, feeling with my nigga, Brent and chilling. Listen to me, baby, I've been killing, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. ooh. <laughs> I don't really rap, but fuck it. Let's go, let's go. You got it, buddy. You got it. Hey, I'm just sitting here vibing, chilling with my dogs, man. I, I, I don't know. Here we go. Hold on, all right. You got it. You got it, bro. Loosen up. Don't li- don't get nervous on this. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Make cash. Make a couple racks. Hit the court. Make a couple dudes fall in the ass. Uh. Fuck my nose. You a hoe. <laughs> yeah, you heard. Yeah, you heard. Seen on the map. Make y'all laugh. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yep, I like that. I like that. Hit well, me we, up if you need an interview. Yep, yep. We yep. out here. Mile High Minute. Mile High Minute with my boy. You know, you already know. Appreciate y'all. Yep, man. let him know. If you guys need interviews, we're going to set everything up. This man's, he got to you. Him He's going to set you up, for real, for real. Shout out the K&D Show podcast, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All thank right, you, thank you. Right. Hey. And I'm just sitting back with my dogs, chilling, smoking on his blunt. I've been really feeling gone, and I ain't really know what's been going on inside America. But it seems like it's really fucked up. This my home, but I ain't got no place to go. So I'ma keep on trying to keep it going with my flow and my pitch in my mind. Just feeling so fucking right. I'm so fucking nervous, but I gotta keep my mind right. And I've been spitting on a track, feeling so lost and gone. And my dog, he got killed, so I can't even write him no more. I missed his call when he last called me but i can't text him back and that shit's a tragedy i'm just trying to build my business i'm trying to stack it up and see all of these visions and i've been (laughs) (laughs) you actually tried there you go if i could close my eyes like i could do it but yeah he needs some like he needs some shades bro you know like when you know like when you're that kid off of daddy's boy when he's wearing the shades no, right. Honestly, like when like I'm alone, I feel like I could do it like way better. But like when I'm with people, I get nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how it is, though. You just gotta get used to it. It's like, Dang yeah, man. I talk with interviews. Like, I be, I used to get really nervous, but then like the more I got into it, like now I'm like, like for example, I was just at uh, the Cervantes on Valentine's Day. I was doing an interview with a couple big artists. That's dope. And, that's dope. And like I was backstage, and it's just like. Boom, right on the spot. Like, I got to go. I got, like, 20 people watching me. But Jim Jones, when I interviewed him, I got, like, all these people balling. (laughs) That's dope, dude. That's dope, dude. That's fucking dope. You got, like, 20, 30 people, but you got to just – I'm zoned in looking at my camera and the guests. I'm not even looking at all these people. How was that experience? I forgot to ask you before we end this. How was that experience besides just – 
just feeling feeling that all the people just fucking staring at you and just it's just nerve-wracking like, at first you're like oh shit and sometimes you'll kind of pause mid-interview like, you lose a question you're did like, you oh, ever feel do you yeah, ever you feel like what is it called like uh i shouldn't be here or like i do you ever feel like yeah because what is it called imposter sy- syndrome or something like that it's like you feel like you're not supposed to be there like yeah, obviously you've done you've done don't get me wrong i don't i don't want you to get me wrong no, right. uh you've done what you need to do to be there bro but do you feel like you haven't done enough to be there or like because yeah. i feel like you could feel like that you know i mean even back to that show the other day like you know i had a media pass i got it kind of late and the security is looking at me I've never, I've, anytime I've gone to media pass, I'm able to go wherever I want in the venue, backstage, talk to artists, whatever. But this specific security guard was like, oh, you got to stay in this little area. And my homie's going backstage, chef, shout out, chef, quest to walk, going backstage, like, no questions asked, you know what I'm saying? And he, we're cool. And like, the security dude's looking at me like, you know, they don't know who my high minute is, whatever. So there's still times where I'm like, it's like, bro, do you not know who the fuck I am? Like, well, yeah. when I first started too, um, there would be rappers like Thousand Band Funny. I don't even care. I'll post this. I'll, you post this. <laughs> but like he he uh, um, came out here. I gave him a bunch of free vintage clothes. That was me providing value for him to like. Yeah, so you guys could work and shit work. like that. Yeah. Yep. And it was dope clothes, bro. Like jersey, starter, vintage. Fitted, like brand new like nice shit anyways um so we're at the show like we're hanging out all weekend in the studio getting work done you know whatever he's recording in there we're filming I'm pretty sure he didn't pay for shit and then um i'm at like a little house party or whatever and uh after the show and he looks at me and like who are, who are you as if we weren't just hanging out the past two three days and this is he's I don't know if you've heard about Thousand Band Fun. He's not that popping anymore. Right? No. Nah. He was kind of big when the SoundCloud era kind of first. Sorry, bud. We don't know you. He, he looks at me. Where he's in Denver at a house party. He's looking at me like, who are you? Blah, blah, blah. And I just left because I was like, bro. Yeah, he made I'm you not, feel some type of way, yeah, too. Like, I'm not, I don't care who you are. I'm not going to sit here and like. And that's the thing, too, is like when yeah. artists start acting too ego, big headed. Like I'll just delete their music from my like, playlist. Like I don't eat. Like even yeah. if it sounds good, like if you give me that asshole vibe, I'm like, bro, I can't even listen to you anymore. Cause you yeah, just, you so, just I, you just re- like fucking yeah. remember uh, this mute. Like, yeah. Little baby, some guy was trying to do an interview with him, bro. He's like, do you make four hundred k? Are you gonna give me a hundred k for an interview? Do you right. even make a hundred thousand dollars? And it's like, bro, like just give him the interview, bro. Yeah. He's just trying to fucking just make content. Yeah, there's right. there's people he's that content from you. He's just trying to talk to you, bro. Well, that's the that's where we're wrong because we make these people famous, bro. But you know, we yeah. make these people famous. So we if we chose who we fucking wanted actually to be famous and we actually had people with values and right. you know like Tupac I mean, said that a long time ago, there's going to be guys that not give a fuck about what's going on in in life now. And that's true. Tupac was one of those guys that would fucking go to court, fight for fucking human rights, fight for black rights, fight for his mom, little, bro. Shit like that, you know? His mom. But to go off your point, though, I'll finish it and I'll stop. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like you said, you know, <laughs> one thing I learned from Young Doe, he's like an OG rapper out here from Montbello who's been doing his thing for a while. I've heard of him. He's dope. He told me sometimes you got to go even when you're not invited. And I. When you first hear that, you're like, I ain't going nowhere where I'm not invited. But then you think about it, you're like, damn. But, like, sometimes when you show up to those places where you're not invited, like, that's when those big opportunities happen. And you got to just not give a fuck like, well, see, about what these people think or say. If there's people invited. that see you there at the party. And they're like, what the fuck? Mile High Minutes here? Yeah, yo. Exactly. They're like, yo, Mile High Minutes here. Crowd moves to Mile High Minute. They go see where you're at and shit like that. So. People see that shit. People so, yeah. are like, like you said, it's law of attraction, bro. You attract people too. Like you go in there, people are gonna be like, "Damn, this was brings in more, more people." He he's actually viable to us, you right, know. Right. So it's like that, that has a lot to deal with it. And you're very viable, bro. You got a lot of potential. You got a lot of people watching you, and you got a lot of fucking 
you know, a lot of things going for you, bro. I think you're doing good. And love, just bro. keep doing what you're doing. Fucking me and Davey think you're fucking dope. I think y'all are dope. Just fucking keep keep working at it, and we're going to keep following you, bro. We're gonna, hopefully, we can have you on and fucking actually get you right, you know, get you, get you done right and fucking just whatever you need and fucking hopefully we can help you out with videos etc and fucking yeah, if you never need like help with anything I yeah guess just let us know, you know? yeah let us I'm know definitely interested in that ai thing you're yeah talking about the clips yeah he will yeah, we'll sure. definitely he'll definitely teach you for sure bro uh, this was so good at it it's like not even but, fucking funny you might not e- i feel bad for your manager your manager might not fucking like us after this bro. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know but you know uh, sorry dude good. we fucking <laughs> But before we go, I guess you got one song that you want to play that, uh... Your favorite song right now in the your moment. favorite song right now that you can just think of. Just right at the top of the moment, you're like... Look up. They call him AP Still Part 2. There it is. He's my f- my favorite all-time rapper. But yeah. He's from Mabello. Oh, he's from Mabello, huh? That's dope. I grew up in Montbello, so that's cool. Oh, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's Dave's, a, Dave's a Montbello kid. Yeah, bro. Hell yeah. I love Montbello. It's a cool place, man. It's a little crazy, but yeah, there's cool people, bro. There's cool people there. And as long as you're cool, people will be cool with you. All right. Well, this is my high Also, finish. hit up my boy for merch. He's got all kinds of shit. Hit him up, dude. It's fucking dope, dude. Nah, but you got yeah, dope shit. You got dope shit. Clean. Fuck. Look at them bitches. What, these shoes? I was about to say, my boy got some on right now. Look. Similar. He's got some on. Got yeah, he's got oh, some on. He's like, don't don't let me step on them laces. Baseball ones or what? Yeah. Bro, they go hard. Look yeah, at them. Yeah, they're technically like turfs, I guess. Bro, they're sick. I don't I'd, even care. Low key, I'd, I'd wear them. I'll kick some of these. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen. Alright, you ready or what? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this guy goes hard, David.